I work as a data scientist and I do medical research and one of the things that I have to do pretty often is to take some R code that's pretty messy and then reformat it to make it look really neat and to make it much easier to read. And so in this video, I'm going to take you through the method that I use using the styler package in R to take some very messy code and then clean it up and reformat it automatically. So we're going to use some example code here, which is from a project that I worked on very early when I was learning R for the first time. The code here, I've, I've, um, it's pretty messy, as you can see. In fact, it's pretty horrendous. And so first of all, we're going to use the built-in method in R Studio to try and clean the code. I'll show you a couple of limitations in that method. And then we'll look at, in the second part, we'll look at the styler package and how it can be used to clean up the code. So first of all, as you can see, this code is very hard to read. Some of it's split over multiple lines, some of it's not. It's all kind of inconsistent, the indentation is wrong. Um, some of these things, like it's all on one line, it's really hard to read. So one way we could use to try and fix this is we could select all of our code, we could select all of our code, and then we could go up to our studio's code tab and move down and then click on the reformat code option, or in this case, Command Shift A or Control Shift A on Windows. So if we run that, you'll see that R Studio tries to do its best job to reformat the code, and it does a pretty good job very often. Um, in this case here, there's a few things where it's not quite ideal. So you can see that it's still left this mutate statement on the same line, and uh, if we scroll down, this tab it hasn't dealt with, so the spacing is a bit inconsistent. This is really ugly, like it's kind of messed up. We have the alignment should be and so on and so forth. But often this default method built into RStudio, command reformat code, is actually pretty useful. However, let's undo that change and I'll show you how to use the styler package to get a much better reformatting code. So to install the styler package, you need to run this command in the R console. So type install.packages, whoops, install.packages, and then within quotes, style R, so styler. And we're gonna install that styler package. And this will take a couple of moments to run. Now, once it finishes, we'll be able to click under add-ins, and it should be, okay, there we go, it's available straight away. We'll click on add-ins, and you'll see that there's now some new options available under the styler heading. And we can click on the style active file to reformat the entire file. Or if we'd already selected some code, we could just run style selection. So let's style the active file using the styler package. So it'll take a moment to run. And, oh, hang on, wait a sec. I know what's happened. So we see to select it all and then, uh, yes, yeah, style selection. And that will take a moment to run. And now, as you can see, it's actually taken our code and it's reformatted it to make it much easier to read. Now, there's still a few things here where I might split stuff over multiple lines. For example, down here, I would probably personally split this over multiple lines. However, the code is much cleaner and it's much easier to read and the indentation has been fixed in, in almost all cases. So that's the first step of how we can use the styler package to clean up code in R. Now, what if you want to rebind the keyboard shortcuts so that when you run uh, Command capital A or Control capital A on Windows, uh, that you can actually reformat the code? Well, to do this, we need to modify R's keyboard shortcuts. And we can do that by, first of all, we need to restart R Studio. So I'm going to uh, just quit R Studio and then I'll restart it. So uh, let's just open up R Studio again. And once R Studio has reopened, we can load in our transfusions data again, then go down to the tools option and then click on the modify keyboard shortcuts. And then if we scroll down, or we can even just search, but if we scroll down, we can click on style selection and we can actually double click or command click on this uh, shortcut area and then we can just type in the shortcut that we want. So command shift A or command capital A and then click apply. And now we can basically select any code we want and run command capital A and it will reformat that code for us. Okay, so there's one more stage I wanted to look at, which is what happens if instead of having a straightforward R file, 
you have a markdown file, like it's, a, it's an R notebook. So let's open up the, similar, the same file, but in a R markdown format instead. And I've just added in some arbitrary headers. Now, the, the reason this is a bit more tricky is because everything is split over um, different chunks. And of course, we don't want to reformat these uh, sections. We only want to reformat what's inside the R chunk, like these chunks here. So one, one way we could, we could do it is we could go through and we could manually run our like add-ins style selection, or we can just use the keyboard shortcut to do that in each case, and that will work. But we can also, because the styler package is smart enough, it's smart enough if we use the add-ins, we can actually just style the entire active file and it will handle all those chunks. So if we run style active file, and then we may need to move our focus to the console. Yeah, so there we go. Basically, it's reformatted all of the chunks and it's also preserved these uh, sections of the Markdown notebook, which are outside of the R chunks. So that's a quick intro to the Styler package. If you found this helpful, then please consider subscribing and let me know in the comments below if this helps you. Take care.